What's up guys, in this video I'm going to teach you how to create orders with Python and MetaTrader 5. So it is very very simple and as everything with this you just have to do a call with a function and that's it. But it is very important to have some things. So as you may have seen now, I have a lot of things done, like I'm almost finished, I just have to do the AI thing but I will talk about it in another video. So, what do we have to do in order to create operations, uh, open operations, open buy, open sell? We just simply first include, well, import the MetaTrader 5 library, and then we have to use one function. This function is called, let me find it, order send. So we have to send an order. Every time we want to open a buy, we have to use this function order send and we have to send an order. So for example, here I have compra, which should be buy. <laughs> so then what does the buy need? It is a dictionary with all this information. Let me do this a little bit bigger so you can see better. So yeah. It is a dictionary with all this information. The first thing that you need is the action. Well, to be honest, I don't know everything and all the meanings of this. For example, I don't truly know the meaning of magic thing. But yeah, just copy all this and it will be okay. But there are some things that you really need to know how to use them. So for example, symbol is the market that you are going to use. For example, here uh, is where I have uh, stored the market. But it is a string which just has this, for example, EUR USD. So this is a string which has this. Then, for example, uh, we have the volume, which is the lotage. So, for example, if we go to MetaTrader, you can see here that we have defined a number. This number uh, represents the amount of money that you want to use in order to create an operation. So, yeah, you have to define that. For example, one lotage usually is 100k. 100k euros, 100k uh, dollars, whatever. But uh, you have to define that. And here in this dictionary, dictionary, I have that stored. It's a float number, so it could be something like this. And the next thing is the type of the, of the operation. So for example, here is a buy, a buy operation. You just put here MT5 <laughs> order type buy. I think this is an enumeration. So yeah, it will have a value, but I don't know the value. Then you have to set the current price of the market, which you can take it using using this function saying that, hey, MT5 symbol info tick. And look, if it's a buy, you have to take the ask, uh, ask value. And if it's a sell, you have to take the bid value. So then we, we can define the stop loss and the take profit, as I said. You can, if you don't want to define it, you you can remove these two lines. But what you can do is, for example, look, I take the price and let's say that the, that the stop loss is, uh, I don't know, uh, 100. So if the price goes down 100 points, the operation will close. So for example, if we go here and we just check this, it's like, imagine that I open an operation here and it's a buy operation. If the price goes down here 100 points, which means that the price uh, here changed from 17779 from 117673. If that's the change, I want the operation to be closed and yeah, I will lose money, but I want it to be closed. So that's the, the stop loss. Then you have the take profit, which is the opposite. If the price goes up, if you say a buy and the price goes up, okay, I want it to stop at 30 points. So you put that. Another important thing is that you have to define this variable. Why? Because the price is a float number. And as you can see here is 1.1779 or whatever. If you try to increase 100, it will go to 100 uh, euros or dollars. So it's nonsense because <laughs> that price will never be reached. So for example, if we put here this like the highest it was at some moment at <laughs> in 2000, I don't know, in 2008 was 150. So it won't go to 100. 
So that's why you define a point, because it will multiply the 100 by the point and you will have a, a nice thing. Then I, you have these two things, which I don't truly know what they mean. And yeah, this is the time. And this depends on the broker you use. Honestly, I don't fully understand what it does, but there are several types. And yeah, I just recommend you that if you try to open an operation and it doesn't work, try to change this. Maybe this is the problem. I also recommend you to use this. Just look for this in Google and go to this page. And yeah, when you have an error, you will have a message like a number like this, a red code. So you can check here what does the error mean. And you can see if it's because of the feeling or, or whatever. So yeah, that's for the buy. If we go to the sales, it's pretty straightforward. Like it's the same. But the difference is that when you define a stop loss, as we said before, when you buy, you try to go up. So the stop loss has to be under the price. But in the sales, you want that the price goes down. So the stop loss has to be on top of the price. So that's why here I'm adding and that's why here I'm subtracting. So yeah, that is the only difference that you have to change the, the symbols here. One last thing I want to show you is how to modify orders. So, so you see that this is a dictionary and whenever I want and whenever uh, the execution of the function is finished, I return this dictionary. So what I do with this dictionary is that, hey, if the cell worked, I want to handle it. I want to handle it and I want to look for it and I, I just want to keep track of it. So what you have to do is to, for example, in this function, I send the cell and I send the, the market. In order to modify an operation, what you have to do is to use this function, positions get. You have to get the, the ticket of the position. So here, what I'm doing is that my bot cannot do more than one operation at a time. So that's why here I can take the last uh, operation done. So this, posi this positions get, what will do is that it will return a list of all the operations that you have open. So with this, I get the last one and I only have one, so it's the one I want. So I take the ticket, which is the thing that I want to use. And yeah, I call this, this variable position. And whenever you try to modify it, you have to, you have to use again the order send function. And also in, you can use the same, the same dictionary, but you have to add this position, which is the, the thing that we got uh, before. So with position, you can change the SL, the take profit or whatever. Then you, you, then you call order send and that's it. So yeah, the same happens with the buy and that's it. I hope you understood how to modify and how to open operations with Python. And yeah, if you like it, see you and give it a like, share, subscribe and bye. Don't forget to go and check my website in which I talk about trading and cryptocurrencies and all that stuff for a very cheap price. Mm -hmm. Ay, 